Hey everyone, this is Ryan from the homesteadconsultant.com. Uh, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, today I wanted to give you my number one tip for pasture improvement that is low cost and super simple. So that tip is growing radishes. In this case, daikon radish. Sometimes they're called tillage radish or daikon tillage radish. Uh, they're a very long radish that grow about a foot or two feet into the ground and they actually open up the soil to allow moisture and airflow down into the soil. Basically they aerate the soil for you. But they also provide high nitrogen into the soil. So you're adding a whole bunch of things into the soil. Water, air, high nitrogen, uh, which is a huge benefit for your pasture. The seeds are extremely cheap, so you can get a ton of them for a very small price and you can broadcast them across your entire pasture. So the number one reason that I like them so much is because they're inexpensive and they aerate your soil. The number two reason is that they actually increase the life of the soil. So because they're doing that work of aeration and adding nitrogen to the soil, and getting deep down in there, they're also going to encourage uh, things like worms, earthworms, uh, <clears throat> fungi, and all the other uh, beneficial microbes that your soil needs are gonna be encouraged by the new food that is added for them down into the soil. So when you plant these radish, you're gonna leave them, and basically you're going to leave the radish in the soil just to rot out and provide food, and now there's an open area with additional organic matter and a lot more microbial life as well as worms and, and other uh, larger life as well. So that's my number two. Number three is that your animals can eat it. So your ruminants will actually love the tops of these radish, which is great because as they eat the tops, those radish will die off and do all the things that I mentioned before. The one exception is gonna be that if you've got cows or goats that you're milking at the time, or using for milk production, you may not want to do this on the pasture that they're going to be on because it can change the flavor of the milk. But beyond that, it's a great added food source for your animals. So within a year or two of doing this, you're going to significantly improve your pasture's soil life, organic matter, and uh, microbial life. So it's a huge benefit to you. It's a huge benefit to your pasture. It's a, it's a quick thing that you can do. It's something you can do in the fall slash winter slash springtime to improve your pasture with very little work. So I hope that helps you. I hope that gives you some ideas on what you could be doing in your pasture. There's lots of other things that you can do, but that's one of the easiest, fastest, and least expensive, uh, yet still very useful things that you can do in your pasture. A quick note that I forgot in my original video while I was doing it is that you can use this in a food forest. Uh, you can use it in your garden, you can use it in your yard, you can use it anywhere that you want to improve the soil. So this is not an exclusive pasture thing, this is something that you can do uh, basically in any soil to help improve it.